And now, Color 10 Sports with Megan Rice. Coming off one of the best performances in his career, the St. Louis Cardinals look to Michael Waka to get the team a series win against their rivals, the Chicago Cubs. Here's a look at the NL Central standings. The Cardinals four games back of first place heading into tonight's game. Cardinals facing the Cubs' newly acquired pitcher Jose Quintana. And in the first inning, Jed Jerko laces one to the gap and left center Kyle Schwarber. Going to retrieve it while Matt Carpenter is trying to score from first. But is thrown out at the plate, and Carp would later leave the game with quad tightness in his right leg. Still scoreless in the second inning. Runner on for Randall Gritchick, and he blasts his third home run since he's came back off the disabled list. Long homer makes it 2 0 cards. Tied game in the fourth, and there goes that rookie. Paul DeYoung delivers a big time hit. I'm sure you've heard me say that before. Solo homer puts the cards back on top. It's 3-2, to two, but in the sixth inning, Wilson Contreras takes Michael Waka deep. Two-run homer breaks the tie and would be the difference. Cardinals fall 5-3. to three. So the Cardinals drop to 47-51. and 51. St. Louis hosts the Rockies tomorrow at 7 at Bush Stadium. Mike Leake gets the start. He's 6-8 on the year with a 3.39 ERA. And in the Texas League, the Springfield Cardinals beat Arkansas 3-1 to tonight, winning the four-game road series. Cardinals hold a three-game lead in first place of the North standings. We've seen it happen for the last couple years now. Sometimes the Kansas City Royals put together unexplainable, outrageous, even perplexing comeback victories. They did it in their World Series run in 2015, and they look to do it today against the Chicago Chicago White Sox. The Royals sitting just two games back of first place. The Cleveland Indians heading into today. KC with a 49 and 47 record. The Royals with a chance to sweep Chicago. And Whit Merrifield, he's a ball player. Had his first career multi game home or multi homer game today. Starting off with three straight homers in the fourth between Merrifield, Jorge Bonifacio, and Eric Hosmer. Back to back to back jacks. Makes it three zip. KC. But here's where that Royals magic comes in. Tie game in the ninth and Brandon Moss ropes a liner to right field, scoring Lorenzo Kane for the comeback game winner. Five to four, KC sweeps the Sox. And here's where it gets ridiculous. That marks the Royals' fourth walk-off win in this 10-game homestand. I had a feeling that right there, you know, that they were going to try to get a heater by me because I had been fouling off the changeup. So I just got ready a little sooner and glad I wasn't out of the strike zone. That was really fun to watch. These guys, you know, they've been, like I said, for, the, for a while, this whole team has been swinging the bat well, and uh, it's nice to be a part of it. The Royals pick up their fifth straight victory, improving to 50 and 47. Up next for Kansas City, it's another divisional series. Jason Hamill gets the 6-10 start tomorrow night at Detroit. The final round of the Open Championship had two of golf's more likable athletes, Jordan Spieth and Matt Kuchar, going head to head for the Claret Jug in dramatic fashion. Spieth still trying to get over his epic Masters collapse in 2016. He's in trouble on the 13th, is way out of bounds off the tee shot. And after leading all tournament, Matt Kuchar takes over first as Spieth saves bogey. But that's when Spieth would show off his new grit on the 15th, drains this some 50-foot bomb for an eagle. He haps at his caddy to go get it. Gotta love it. Spieth is back in front at minus 10. Matt Kuchar not giving him much breathing room, though. He curls in this birdie putt and goes to 10 under. One stroke back of Spieth. But on 18, the youngster would tap in for par to pick up his third major, winning at minus 12, becoming the youngest American to win the Open Championship at just 23 years old. I knew that another major would be, you know, the one thing that would, I think, just completely over the hill, you know, I'm capable of closing these majors out. That was a difficult thing to do today because it was just so up and down. I mean, I'm starving, you know. Today took as much out of me as any day that I've ever played golf. Here's a look at the final leaderboard. Spieth finishing with a three-stroke lead over Matt Kuchar, winning his third and third different major, and again, turns 24 later this week. Pretty impressive. The Springfield Lasers playing at the Orange County Breakers tonight, a new team, the Milan World Team Tennis League. The Lasers didn't win a single set and fall to the Breakers 25-10. to Saturday at Lucas Oil Speedway, it was Todd Shute taking home the $1,000 prize for winning the ULMA Late Model Feature Event. Up next, it's the Ozarks Food Harvest Food 
Food Drive Night presented by us here at Color 10 and KOZL on July 29th. And what a wild race at the Brickyard 400. Casey Kane won under a caution flag as cars crashed behind them. The race took over six hours to complete and had a record 14 cautions, caution flags. And going back to the first place, Springfield Cardinals are back in action here at Hammonds Field tomorrow night against the Tulsa Drillers at 6.30. Okay, go Cards. Thanks, Megan. Up next, some comical outfits that are the star of the show at a special event in San Diego. We'll show you next.